On June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria and his wife, Sophie, were assassinated in Sarajevo by Gavrilo Princip, a Bosnian Serb nationalist. This event set off a chain reaction of alliances and conflicts that led to the outbreak of World War I II. Following the assassination, Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia-Russia, allied with Serbia, began to mobilize its forces. Germany, allied with Austria-Hungary, declared war on Russia, France, allied with Russia, was drawn in against Germany and Austria-Hungary. Germany invaded Belgium, bringing Britain into the war. The Western Front became synonymous with trench warfare. Both sides dug extensive networks of trenches from the North Sea to the Swiss border. Soldiers faced horrific conditions, including mud, rats, and constant enemy fire. Major battles, such as the Battle of the Marne, the Battle of Verdun, and the Battle of the Somme resulted in massive casualties but little territorial gain. The Eastern Front saw larger movements of troops and significant battles between Russia and the Central Powers, Germany and Austria-Hungary. The Battle of Tannenberg was a major victory for Germany, but the vast expanse of the Eastern Front posed logistical challenges for both sides. In 1915, the Allies launched the Gallipoli Campaign to open a new front and secure a sea route to Russia. The campaign was marked by fierce fighting, difficult terrain, and heavy casualties. Ultimately, the Allies were forced to evacuate and the campaign was considered a failure. Naval warfare played a crucial role in World War I. The British Royal Navy imposed a blockade on Germany, aiming to cut off supplies. In response, Germany used unrestricted submarine warfare, sinking ships, including civilian vessels like the RMS Lusitania. This strategy was a factor in bringing the United States into the war. World War I saw significant technological advancements. Tanks were introduced to break the stalemate of trench warfare. Airplanes, initially used for reconnaissance, engaged in aerial combat. Poison gas was used as a weapon, causing severe injuries and deaths and necessitating the use of gas masks. The war effort required the mobilization of entire societies. Civilians worked in factories producing munitions and supplies. Women took on roles traditionally held by men, who were now on the front lines. Propaganda was used to maintain morale and encourage support for the war. In April 1917, the United States declared war on Germany. American troops, known as the American Expeditionary Forces AFE, began arriving in Europe in significant numbers by 1918. Their arrival provided a much-needed boost to the exhausted Allied forces. In 1918, the Allies launched a series of offensives, known as the Hundred Days Offensive, which ultimately broke through German defenses. The continuous pressure and the influx of fresh American troops overwhelmed the Central Powers. On November 11, 1918, an armistice was signed, ending the fighting on the Western Front. The Treaty of Versailles, signed on June 28, 1919, officially ended the war. The treaty imposed harsh penalties and territorial losses on Germany, sowing the seeds of future conflict. World War I had profound effects on the world. The war caused immense destruction and loss of life. It led to the collapse of empires, redrawing of national borders, and significant political changes. The League of Nations was established in an attempt to prevent future conflicts. But the harsh terms of the Treaty of Versailles contributed to the rise of tensions that would eventually lead to World War II.